Um, today I'm going to do a very simple printing method. Um, as you can see, I've got a whole load of owls laid out for you to see. Um, these I've made using a takeaway container or a storage container lid, which is basically a piece of foiled cardboard. And I cut them into shape and I try and use every single bit of the foiled cardboard. And I use a biro so that I can make a pattern on them and the pattern will print. If you can feel it with your fingertip, it will print. You can use um, foiled card like this, which has come from some fish, you know, vacuum for packed fish and they stick it on this stuff. So you can use that if you've got it to hand. If you're getting takeaways still, you can wash these off the rice preferably and use those or you can buy them new from the supermarket. So I'm going to cut a piece from this piece of scrap here. I'm going to stick with owls as that's the examples I've given you. So that will be the top of it. I'm going to come round to the tail. And once I've got that, I need to get a biro, just an ordinary biro, and start drawing my owl in. So do his eyes first, big starey eyes, and a beak, another big starey eye. The technique kind of looks like Inuit art, I find, at the end of it. So you could do some research into some Inuit art and uh, use that to inspire your designs. I'll do some bigger feathers on the wings. I'll right, just do some stars on this tummy bit here. Some big tail feathers coming out. Right, I shall prepare to print. To print this up, we're going to use either block printing ink, um, which you can buy online, it's reasonably priced. I tend to use black, you can get it in lots of other colours, um, or acrylic paint. In this case, I've used the block printing ink. I put out a little bit on my piece of glass. And the piece of glass I've got is rescued from an old fridge. And then I roll it out until it's thin. You don't want a big gooey lump of ink because then it won't pick up on the details of your drawing. And I'm going to roll that like that. So a couple of directions, trying to keep it clean. It shouldn't stick to the roller like that, but it has this time. Okay, then I'm going to get a clean sheet of paper and I'm going to be really careful to keep my fingers clean because it's really nice to get a print that's not got lots of dirty fingerprints around it. And try and place it on the paper where you want it. And then give it a really good rub right the way around try and get the shape of that piece of cardboard and get all of those details on it and hopefully when we peel it back there'll be an owl now, it doesn't work every time um especially the first couple of turns can be a bit difficult these are some that i've done earlier so i've done a couple of owls there i've done a whale I've done a kind of abstract cat. So that's printing using recycled foiled cardboard. Thank you.